when you were in Vietnam, obviously you didn't have much time to train. What was it like coming back to running in 1970? I gained more weight than I had ever gained being at sea. We, I could only run every three weeks. Okay, wow. And, and, and that was one of the other revelations because we, our ship would be out there working 24 seven, refueling yeah. other ships. And we got in to replenish our uh, supplies and fuel. And uh, the only thing I wanted to do is run. And yeah. again, within 10 minutes, 15 most, all the stress of that uh, time sure. on the line would go away. It was just really s such an amazing release. And as mm -hmm. you know, this is yeah. what happens in running. Uh, so I came back to Atlanta, 1970, and uh, I had made that decision that I would simply try to qualify for the Olympic trials. I had no illusions of making the Olympic team. I was too far away uh, to get that. Yeah. I was over four minutes away from what I would need to qualify. Uh, okay. So, you know, that it, it, it first seemed unrealistic, but I got my plan together. I started it in Atlanta, and uh, right at the end of my stay in Atlanta, six months later, was the Peachtree Road Race, which I ran, and I won. Wow. Now, that, that sounds great, but there were only 110 at the time, and there, <laughs> there was no international field. It was a yeah. few people from out of the South, but it was mostly Southerners. And uh, mm -hmm. I had gotten my shape back in six months, finally, yeah. to be able to compete at the regional level. Went mm -hmm. to Florida State Graduate School, joined the Florida Track Club, which was uh, in its entry year, and uh, joined uh, Frank Shorter and Jack Batchelor um, in that, uh, as a charter member of that club, mm -hmm. we ended up training together for two months in Vail prior to the 72 Olympic trials. And, yeah. and Frank was the one that set that up. And I really owe it to him that I was able to, uh, to do, uh, what I could do in making it into the, uh, 10 K trials, because I, I still had not qualified for the 10K trials. I had qualified for the marathon trials. Sure. And I uh, only had one more chance. So at the end of Vail, I drove out to Seattle for the National AAU Championships. And that turns out now to be the most important race in my career. Really? Because I had to improve my PR by 90 seconds, by a minute and a half. Oh, my and gosh. If I didn't, I would not be in the trials. And uh, it was ideal weather, and uh, the training at Vail paid off. I ran a two-minute PR, qualified, wow. and that was the race that I ended up going to the Olympics in, although I did help my buddy Jack Batchelor in the marathon. Mm -hmm. 